Now, you might think that I did this to myself to protect myself, but no, no, I, I would never do this. It appears my whole area is filled up with glass and water and fish. Look at the fish. Holy crap. <laughs> I believe that I've been pranked. I might, in fact, be the first victim of a prank on the server. Oh, man. Who did this? Is there anybody on? That's just me. Oh, this has got to be Allie. Ugh. <laughs> I thought at first maybe Jitterbug was uh, doing this, thinking that he was protecting me from zombies, but uh, no. This is clearly, this is clearly maniacal. Look at the fish. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, I gotta go to work, but before I do, let's see if what I've gotten so far tonight. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Ugh, finally. Look at the saddles. Oh, yeah. Saddles and name tags. It seems like I'm gonna be able to start selling something now that people will actually want. This is excellent. So it uh, looks like I've got some cleaning up to do <laughs> whenever I get whenever I get back. Oh man, I don't have any wood or anything on me to build uh, to build a chest to get rid of some of this stuff. But oh yeah, what a mess. Oh well, all I can say, my friend, is uh, paybacks. Yeah, yeah, there'll be retribution. Okay, so I talked to Allie on Discord and uh, confirmed that this was her doing. As a matter of fact, she recorded <laughs> the whole prank. So uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, she sent she sent me the uh, the whole thing, but it was quite, it was kind of long. So I'm going to uh, cut that down to size, and uh, I'll go ahead and and play that clip for you now.
All right, that was pretty cool. So, what am I gonna do? Um, first of all, I got some stuff that I don't care about. Let's get that out of my inventory. Toss that out the window there. Not as much stuff in my actual, ooh, that's nice, uh, inventory that I want to get rid of, but I got a lot of stuff in chests, and I can toss some of it. Well, you know, I can do without a lily pad. Of course, that would pop right back in. What is that? Slapping around. Is that that lily pad in there? Okay. Whatever. Okay, so let's go here. And just toss some crap out of here. Of course, we have stuff in the hopper as well. <laughs> so just toss out the garbage. And just hopefully I can get some room in my damn inventory. Of course, I don't want that. You know, my plan was to have a cactus in here that I could throw my garbage into. And that looks like I didn't get to that quite quick enough. So uh, let me go through this inventory and just try to free up a little bit of space so I can try to get out of here because the, here's the thing this is pretty sweet and I don't think that she put name tags on these fish so they're probably going to despawn but while they're here I'm going to leave them I think this is a cool creation um, you know I don't need a lot of space up here and I have this hole to get in and out of and I had actually thought of coming out this side right here and making a um, a dock over on this side so this, you know, might actually work into my uh, plans anyway. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what that's all about. Let me get this inventory cleaned up a little bit, and I'll start uh, see if I can work in that direction. All right, I got my inventory cleaned up a little bit, so I think I want to go out right here. Oh, so let's see if we can't just cause a disaster here. No, nope, got pretty lucky. Okay, so whoa. Oh, it's not over, apparently. Look at this. Look at these armor stands. Oh, that's badass. We the fish are fighting back against you. AFK fishing. <laughs> well, it seems nobody likes AFK fishing. Uh, <laughs> these are really cool. She's got... Um, so on the server, we have the armor stands like you see on Hermitcraft. And those are just fantastic. I haven't tried to make any of these yet. I'm a big fan. I've seen, you know, Zombie Cleo and uh, others on Hermitcraft make some really, really beautiful creations. This is awesome. Yeah, I really like this a lot. So um, I might I might have to keep these. I'll talk to her and see what she wants to do about that. Uh, Mr. Creeper up there. I don't think you're part of the prank, buddy. All right, so, so again, what I was thinking was this area here, because this this thing, I never got around to showing you the fishing hut, uh, I don't think. So this was a little fishing hut that I made. It's got a little dock over here. It's okay. You know, it's not terrible, but it's so boxy, and it, it really doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do what I wanted it to do. So um, I was thinking about coming out this side, making like an enclosed dock area with a roof on it some basic but where you could kind of come up and park your boats here and it kind of looked more like a dock so i was thinking about that anyway and now i've got every reason uh to do that obviously but i'll need some wood uh, and things like that so first things first i've got to have a way to get rid of the junk in this area and i don't know that i'm close enough to a sand biome so i'm gonna have to go uh back to my base and get some materials and um Probably start with a lava bucket and just start throwing a bunch of this trash away. So I'll, I'll get to that and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back at the base, coming out of the water elevator. Oh, <laughs> we have more, more armor stands. Look at these heads. These are really cool. What are these? Are these player heads? It looks like a, f a squid head. I don't know what that is. This is my fish tank. So this is not part of the prank. I actually made this myself uh, before and put a little tropical fish in there, and he's got a name tag on him, so he shouldn't go anywhere. Uh, it looks like these people are enjoying my fish tank. <laughs> they like it. I like it too. Thanks, guys. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate what I did here. Um, this guy's on his way in. Man, this is really cool. These armor stands are really something else. I like that a lot. What kind of head is that? I'm not familiar with that. If that's like a custom head, it's like that one's the same. 
you guys know what that is, you can comment and let me know. But let's see if she's got any other surprises around here for me. Now I'm kind of kind of curious on what's going on. Well, apparently she doesn't have any problem with me uh, getting bones. That's good. Let's see, this base is pretty small still. There's not a whole lot here. So, okay, it looks like that was it. Well, that's pretty interesting. So that's a pretty good prank. Yeah, and we started a little. Uh, she started a little prank thing on the server. So. I like it. I think there's there's room to do some stuff here. Uh, I'm a noob when it comes to this kind of stuff, really. I'm, this is the first prank that has ever been played on me on Minecraft. And so, uh, you know, she busted my cherry, and I like it. I, I think this is really great. Uh, just got to figure out exactly how to get back at her. And to be honest, I haven't been playing enough to get enough mats <laughs> to do anything good. But so, uh, so I need to get to work. Okay, so I came back down here, and I replaced this floor with stone uh, brick, sl stone slabs. Because I don't want this thing to burn down, and I put lava in this little hole right here. Now maybe with the drippy water, I won't get any, uh, you know, embers that fly out of here. And so the whole point of this, obviously, is to be able to grab something that I don't want. Let's say in this case, lily pad, although I'll use those. And then I can just toss those right over my shoulder into the lava, and they're gone. Now, again, worst case scenario, an ember comes out hits this floor and burns the whole damn thing to the ground. So, to prevent that from happening... Uh, did I run out of slabs? I appear to have run out of stone slabs. Oh, well, I'll have to get back to that. But to prevent that from happening, I'll keep an eye on it, but if the embers start flying out, which I don't know that they will from, from here, they might be far enough down. I mean, I'm two blocks down. So, we'll see. Um but I could put some stone slabs up here to kind of protect that little corner. So let me go through here and throw away any crap that I don't want right now. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm a total idiot. I literally just put those in there. Wow. So we'll do something like this, and maybe, just maybe, that will prevent uh, an ember from jumping out and hitting that ceiling. So fingers crossed. That's all we can hope for. Hadn't seen any pop out yet, so that's good news so far. So... Here's the deal. I'm going to have to... I don't have a sorting system. I don't have a mass storage system. I don't have anything. I've just literally just started. So uh, I need to really go through this stuff and see what I want to keep, what I want to not want to keep. And right now I'm going to be doing the long run back and forth to the base over and over and over and over again. So a couple things. One, I'm thinking about taking a tunnel through here, going straight down. I made sure to put this right on the corner of a chunk. And the reason I did that, just block this door. The reason I did that is because, baby zombies, um, I like to know where I am. And so I always dig my tunnels on chunk sides, if that makes any sense, the zero, zero. And so what that means is I know if I dig straight out of this and go, you know, I could go straight down with the ladder if I wanted to or stairwell or whatever, and I, I will eventually come out. Uh, right in that spot. I got 24 ladders. I don't know that that'll be enough, but I could always make more. The real thing is, I don't know if I've dug this far over. So that if I went straight down, so to speak, and then I went straight across, would I come directly into my base? My base is going to be over to the left slightly. I think that if I go far enough, I will hit it. Um, but I'm not really sure if that's what I want to do in this area yet or not, because I, I certainly want to build that dock. But I got to have a quicker way to get back and forth here. Now, ultimately, what would be cool is a rail system. And that's what makes me think about a stair, because if I do a stair, I'm ready-made for a rail system to run out of here where I could come out of this place and I could just load up a, a, a chest with a mine cart and just send that stuff on, dump it into an automatic sorter. I mean, ultimately, that would be the coolest thing to do from a thing like this. But after a while... I'm going to stop needing these materials, so I don't really know. But right now, let me go ahead and go through this stuff. I'll sort it out a little bit, see what I want to keep, see what I want to get rid of, and I'll come back later. I'm going to leave some of this cod raw for catching uh, cats and the like. So, uh, yeah, hell, I might even open a fish market. I mean, just so much stuff here. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, I get it now. It's a little slow to catch on. So these are all fish heads. So there's your puffer fish, tropical fish. Those red ones I saw downstairs, those must have been salmon. So yeah, these are literally the fish people fighting back. <laughs> Pretty sweet. 
you know, it occurred to me that I've got all of these bows and books and things. Um, instead of just running them all back, I've got a lot of garbage. So what I might do, I do have the levels. Throw down one of these guys. And start combining and making some good stuff. So I dug out this guy. Unbreaking 3, Power, Mending, Flame. Uh, and I've already got this here, so this might be a good combination if I can afford it. So, yeah, 16. Hey, look at that bow. Unbreaking 3, Power 5, Mending, and Flame. I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty darn good. So I'm looking at my fishing rod. I've got Unbreaking 3, Mending, Luck of the Sea 2, and Lure 3. Now I've got a couple of these. That's another Lure 3. Would have them breaking three on it. I'm wondering if these will go up. So I have a lure three, luck of the sea two. So I don't have any luck of the sea three. So I wonder if I take one of these, luck of the sea, and this one, what'll happen? Okay, so let's try that. And that, 37. Oh, God, look at that. Luck of the sea three, lure three. Man, that's pretty good. So I've, I've pretty much gone through all my levels. <laughs> Wow, it didn't take long, but that is one hell of a rod. <clears throat> That's what she said. So, bow, fishing rod, lots of garbage rods. Man, I'm pretty torn. I don't know if I want to uh, collect these things or sell them or what I want to do. I might put some uh, posts out in Discord and see what people want to do on the server. Oh, okay, I finally emptied the last chest. Man. I remember the uh, AFK fishing is a double-edged sword for sure. Lots and lots of running. Well, I decided while I was doing maintenance, I might as well take a run to the trading district area. See if I've made any sales. I certainly could use the diamonds. Let's see. Bone meal? No. Arrows? Oh! Hey, all right. Sold some arrows. That's good. And this crappy flame book, but this thing is about to be straight filled up with books. I can tell you that. All right, it's almost nighttime, so I think I'll sleep this off and I'll go back to my base. Okay, so, so I think I'm ready <clears throat> to try to look at this little dock area. It's not going to be anything too fancy, so don't get too excited, but I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming here and get ready to uh, pull this dock out and kind of make this not look so square. Okay, so I got a little bit dug out here, so I think what I'll do is I'll start the floor at this level. It's just going to be a, just a flat dock. I'll put some poles out here at the end, so I'll just dig this area right here out. Um, oh yeah, look at that water still comes in. That's cool. I didn't know that it would do that with the half slab there, but I guess those are still water source. And just totally flooded my area there, my home. So we'll stop that. Uh, not with those half slabs, you won't. Well, that's good. Pretty cool. So we'll just toss all these guys. And then start here as well. Alright, so... Two, two, two. Pretty even. Okay, and then we can come out from, well, I'm obviously going to want to make these. You know what? I might try, what if I did that? How does that look? needs an upside down stair here if I was gonna do that do I have any of these upside down stairs no maybe I can do just to see what it looks like that doesn't look too stupid again the whole idea is just to make it a little different that's all Hmm. 
come out to this thing. Oh, I don't know, and then I can make dark oak on the inside. I don't know if that looks better. And then we've got to think about a roof. So, you know, I kind of went both with this one. It's got both colors on it. I might want to stick with the oak for the roof here. So I could come out and do a slab like right here on that edge, right? Come out. One more. Not two more. And then I could do... stairs. Now still some slabs. Gonna have to have these guys. And I'm gonna run out of oak pretty quick, looks like. Give it a start here. Make us some stairs. And the trick's gonna be to get these to connect properly. That's not what I was trying to do at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, put another one here. Oh, man. If I could just get the right one to populate. No, that's the wrong direction. I thought about it for a second, but I think I'm just going to go standard right here for now. Just, I'd like it a lot better if it connected. I don't like, I don't like that it doesn't connect. Man, I really don't. Although it gives it some shape. Um, you know, I hate to just do that, but you know, it's a pretty basic dock. I may just end up with that. Let's see. Gives me a space of one. Man, these are hard to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Missed it. Of course, because I can't count. But I could do one, one, two, three right there. Leaves more of a gap in the middle. Or I could just do this. And put something like that. So, gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Make more. All right, so we go back in, and I wanted to do at least that, and that. Ah, uh, is that it? Opening at the end, opening on the side. Do something with that guy right there. I could even just want to break it up a little. See, and I can't, can't really do, mm -mm. can't really do that. It's such a shallow roof. There's really not a whole lot I can do there. Uh, I mean, I could always do like offsetting. You know, something like that, just to break it up a little bit. I 
I don't know that it adds a whole lot to it, to be honest with you. Kind of look better. I like the idea of having a skylight better. Come up here and have that open to the sun. Man, those really bug me. That squareness right there. I mean, I could just do... Good old-fashioned... Ah, uh, that might break it up a little. Maybe between the poles. Do it like this. Ah, that's no no. <laughs> I really don't. I don't I don't think that looks a whole lot better. I mean, that right there would probably be fine all the way down. And then of course keep the ends. You could just go right here and yeah, run out of day again. So we got that, and then you could always take these guys out. And probably, you know, to be honest, if I wanted to keep it with the theme of the house, what I could do is go with these dark oh, there's a drown around here go with these dark slabs that, oh yeah, that's gonna probably look a whole lot better kinda stays with the theme a little bit more than just having one type of wood here darker poles would probably look nice too I don't have any of those Whoops. Yeah, that looks a lot cooler from here. I got an entrance too, so that's going to be important. That's kind of how I'm going to get out of here since I got a fish tank for a house. <clears throat> yeah, and it's almost freestanding. I mean, I don't want to take those trap doors off. I opened them. Makes it look a little bit more attached, maybe. You get to see all that water in there. That kind of makes it look more attached. Yeah, it does. And maybe I can do a little something out here to break up this flat end. that maybe that's not terrible kind of go with the theme a little bit I mean, it's something I mean it's not anything good I'm not super proud of it I've got to get better at building and that's just all there is to it I've just got to get better at doing it and you know see if I can avoid filling this place with water again but I kind of like this idea better if I come in here why can't I put a half slab there because they're different style wood oh man that sucks I mean this would be cool if you had if you could put like a potted plants there or like fishing tackle or something. You know, it looks like a shelf. Looks like you're coming down. There are shelves. I could definitely put something on the top. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. They're in just this flat, you know. You know. Yeah, at least that's something. And then I can also... I don't have any torches with me. I left them all at home. Awesome. But I could also think about, you know, putting some light out here on these rails right here. Do that as well. So, yeah. I mean, it could be worse, right? 
Well, guys, I think that's about all the time I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button, maybe subscribe. I really appreciate you watching. We're going to have to get Allie back for that prank that she did on us right there. You can see those armor stands back there. Uh, but I, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, if you did, I'll catch you next time. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>